Wow. Dude, we had just the right amount of zip ties, brother. So we'll run one here. There we go, matey. That works, dude. Hey guys, it's Dylan with the Season Bike Packer, where I share unbiased reviews, tips, tricks, and general information about bikepacking gear, routes, and strategies. In today's video, I'm gonna cover my top five must-have items in your bikepacking toolkit. This list assumes you're already carrying a standard mountain bike toolkit, including a spare tube, pump, CO2, multi-tool, plastic tire lever, and tire plug kit, which is pretty much standard operating procedure for any mountain biking outing these days. This list is uniquely built around bikepacking. Assuming you're going to be very remote, may not have cell phone service, and you may need to self recover. These lightweight but critical items could mean the difference between you riding or pushing your bike for miles and could be a critical game changer on a multi-day bikepacking race scenario. Links for the things I mentioned are always in the description below, and if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Okay, let's get into my top five must-have items for your bikepacking toolkit. Number five, OSK. I affectionately call this one my oh shit kit. It's a sewing thread on a bobbin, super glue, two burly sewing needles, and a quick link, all electrical taped to a nice, durable Pedro's tire lever. If you get a sidewall slash and the plugs just aren't doing the job, you can sew up the tire and add a dab of super glue for extra security. Problem solved. The quick link will come in real handy one day when your chain decides to break on that one in 1000 defect from the factory. Instead of resetting the compromised pin with your mini chain tool, I carry a Crank Brothers M17. You can remove the link and replace it with your extra quick link. Apply some pressure to the pedals while holding the brake and it should snap right into place and you're back on your way. Number four, zip ties and Velcro. Right now, go get some spare zip ties, maybe eight inches or so, fold them in half, and stick them in the hole in your crank or in your backpack and forget about them. One day, you will be in a compromised situation and they will be calling your name. That day came for me recently on a trip where I was able to help my friend with his mechanical problem. The bike shop included too much slack on his dropper post cable housing, and with his particular frame design, it sends the cable down the rear of the bottom bracket so the back tire ended up wearing through the housing down to the cable. Once we noticed, we were able to temporarily stow the cable away until he could get it properly replaced. Now while you're hunting down those zip ties, also get yourself some one wrap Velcro. Cut a few 10 inch pieces and wrap them around your frame. This one wrap Velcro can be used in all sorts of situations from broken bikepacking bag straps to a backup way to mount your light to your helmet. Number three, two ounce bottle of sealant. This one's pretty straightforward. It's always good to carry extra tubeless sealant to fill up your tires if you lose some during a puncture or sidewall slash, or if you're headed out the door for a bikepacking trip and can't recall the last time you refilled your tires. I have this old bottle of two ounce stand sealant and I refill it with a bulk container of Trucker Co. Tire Cream. This stuff is superior to stands and priced way better. You can get a one liter bottle for 22 bucks with free shipping. It's 100% made in the USA from American made materials, bottle, and label. And here's a bonus pro tip from the owner himself. You can bring a small bottle of vinegar or dip your tire plugs in vinegar. Acid makes the sealant coagulate. So you can help a dented leaky rim fill up and seal, or you can sew up a slice in your tire and use the acid to get it sealed up better. Lemon juice will also work. Chemistry, cool. Number two, extra cleat bolt. There's a good chance you wear Shimano SPD or Crank Brothers pedals with two bolt cleats. If one of those bolts comes loose that holds your cleat onto the shoe, it could fall completely out and become lost trail side. This can become a real problem. The cleat could loosen up and even fall out completely. If this happens, you may be able to walk out or limp to a bike shop, but a much easier solution is to carry an extra cleat bolt. It's tiny and lightweight. Throw it under that electrical tape in your oh shit kit. Okay, here are a couple honorable mentions that didn't make it into the top five. The first is a small butterfly style multi-tool with needle nose pliers. Gerber makes a lightweight compact tool called the Dime, which comes in at only 2.2 ounces. It has 12 handy tools, including needle nose pliers, wire cutters, scissors, tweezers, and of course, a bottle opener. These could all come in extremely handy in a mechanical self-recovery situation. The second honorable mention is for all you desert bike packers out there who frequently ride in and around cactus. I have to give a shout out to my dad on this one. When I was young, we spent many weekends walking the desert, hunting for quail and dove, and inevitably, we'd get tagged by the infamous Choya jumping cactus. He'd always have a basic plastic comb in his hunting bag to easily remove this stuff, 
without having to touch it, since it's pretty much like Velcro. You can use the comb to remove it from your body, shoes, bikepacking bags, or tires. It's worth a couple ounces. And the number one bikepacking toolkit item you won't regret is an extra derailleur hanger. Single speed bikepackers, feel free to skip this part and instead go hit that like and subscribe button. This one is real fresh for me since it just happened on my recent attempt at the fool's loop. You can check out that video at this link. Now I've smashed many a derailleur, but this was my first broken derailleur hanger in 10 years of riding and it was kind of a freak accident. I'm not even really sure how it happened. I rode 90 miles of fast technical yeah. single track down the Black Canyon Trail with no issues. I was in a flat, easy section. I took a right turn and the front wheel washed out to the right and I went down in a pretty minor crash. I cleaned off my scraped up knee, got back on my bike, pedaled, and the pedals went to the floor. I looked back to the saddest sight of my derailleur limply hanging down by the ground and realized the hanger had sheared off completely. I had no backup and felt like a fool. My options at that point were wait until the next morning and walk a few miles to a bike shop and hope they have something that would work, but this is probably not likely. Or I could shorten my chain and try to finish the course in a single gear. Or I could call my wife and get a bailout. I chose the latter and ordered up two hangers when I got home. One replacement and one to carry in my toolkit. Well, that wraps up my list. Did I miss anything? Do you agree with my list? I wanna hear from you. Hit up those comments with your suggestions on must-have bikepacking toolkit items you won't regret packing. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember to plan, pack, and pedal.